Hi, it's Chris from Cricut. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a two-color infusible ink t-shirt on your Cricut Joy. It's easier than you think. We'll start in the home page of Design Space, click into Projects, and search for Elephant T. We're going to customize this project, make it a little larger first, then right-click to duplicate the elephants. The key here now is we need to get rid of one of the large elephants. So we're going to pull a square out of shapes, group it, and then click Slice. Now we're going to delete the extra elephants and turn one of the small ones purple so we know what we're doing. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to switch the color of the smaller elephant during the press to a second color. And here you want to choose On Mat and Mirror Both Mats. Then choose Infusible Ink on the Material screen. And now I'm just going to Google Cricut Heat Transfer Guide, plug in my material along with my Easy Press 2 as well as a t-shirt, and it's going to give us a step-by-step -step instruction. Now I'm going to cut my infusible ink transfer sheets. I'll start with this color for the small elephant first. You can see I'm using a 12-inch Cricut Joy mat. I've only got one, so I'll do one first and then the other. This is the color that I'm using for the larger elephant. And weeding infusible ink is interesting. You just kind of bend it and it cracks and you start pulling it out. You don't really need a lot of tools. And in this case, you're pulling the infusible ink transfer sheet out around the shape of the elephant. And you can see at the end here, I use a weeding tool to do a little bit of scraping because I had some frayed edges. At this point, you're probably wondering why I bothered to cut the second elephant out if I'm just going to replace it with the other color. And the reason is, and you'll see this in a minute, is because when you take that second elephant off of the transfer sheet liner, it leaves an impression that gives you the perfect guide for placing the second color into your project. Just an example of many ways to do things in design space. You just need to match your technique with your particular project. Okay, now I'm taking that off, putting the second one on, and it's sticky, so it's very easy to put it in place. And of course, we're gonna put this color side down. Going back to the heat transfer guide, I'm following instructions here, doing some lint rolling, putting four sheets of butcher paper inside to, to prevent bleed through. You can also use white cardstock for that step. Doing a little pre-press here, and now I'm placing my infusible ink transfer sheet three fingers down from the V-neck, putting one extra piece of butcher paper on, and here comes my 40-second press. You just want to hold on to the easy press here. Don't press down too hard. Now for the reveal. One of the cool things about infusible ink is the vibrant colors you get and the fact that the color is really baked into the fabric. So you get this very professional looking result that you might have bought in a store instead of made.